Hey there everyone, Atesh here and welcome to another video. The moment you decide that I'll be giving more focus on YouTube, everything goes haywire and you are able to focus less on YouTube. Happens every time with me. Got a great start of the year with a Next.js crash course and then COVID happened. So two weeks entirely in bed, did nothing. Anyways, let's start fresh again this year and let's go ahead and make some more videos. This video particularly is divided into two parts. The first part, a little bit about the Let's Encrypt, the issue we faced. I thought a lot of people are interested in knowing about it, so let's share that. And in the second part, I'll discuss some of the personal stuff, general talk. Still need hot tea so that my throat doesn't give up. Still a requirement. I initially thought that people are not interested in knowing about what are the issues we are facing in production, what issues we face while building the products, or what new uh, documentation we are studying, or what tools we are giving a try these days. But turns out a lot of people are knowing, interested in knowing that. So I'll be sharing that from now onwards, that what are the tools I'm trying new, what are the things we are doing again. Okay, so coming on to the first part of the video, which is the let's encrypt part. So we're gonna talk about some SSL and TLS. Again, we are all grown up on this channel, so we're not gonna fight about, hey, is it SSL, is it TLS? We'll have that uh, discussion on a separate video. Here, we're gonna talk more about it. So as you all know, recently there was a kind of a compulsory requirement that everybody needs to run their website on HTTPS. Now, of course, these SSL certificate used to be very costly in the earlier days, but now they are very cheap and in fact, everything for free. Now you can use Let's Encrypt to have SSL certificate and that's gonna be absolutely free. Again, no wars on SSL and TLS, separate video. So earlier in this month, we faced a little bit of the downtime because we were uh, using S uh, this Let's Encrypt certificate and we wanted to update that. So a small downtime that was acceptable because we knew what's happening and what we are trying to do. Now, last week or just yesterday, we also faced another downtime. There were nothing in the logs, nothing going on. So we thought, what's happening? And the culprit were us actually, not the Let's Encrypt. Let me share more details on this. So what happens at Learn Code Online is we use tons of subdomain. We have web.learncodeonline, we have apis.learncodeonline, we have courses.learncodeonline, we have pro.learncodeonline, we have slides.learncodeonline, uh, build resume learn code online, and there is invoices, media. There's a whole lot of subdomains going on. And of course, how can I forget the blog as well? So we are running a whole lot of things on the blog. Now, again, it's not an issue. You can have as many subdomains as you like, but the problem comes in when you're trying to run all these subdomains on an HTTPS, because there is a hard limit on the Let's Encrypt. Now, although on the website of the Let's Encrypt, if you'll go on to the rate limiting of that section, you're gonna find out that they openly say that the rate limit is actually 50 per week, which is pretty enormous. How can you hit that kind of a limit, Hitesh? No, we didn't hit that. But let me tell you what issue came up. The issue comes up when the collision happens and you're trying to renew the certificates very quickly in a week. And again, a whole lot of your subdomains, when they try to keep on renewing the certificates, then the things actually goes haywire. I talked to a couple of my friends and they told me that yes, the website on the Let's Encrypt say that you can have 300 as a max limit, but that's not actually the real limit. You'll face so many issues if you are going for that kind of a limit. You should always keep your subdomains less than 10 uh, to make sure that you don't face that kind of issue. Now, the reason why we are facing this issue because uh, obviously the, the next question that come to your mind is that, hey, Tesh, why don't you get a wildcard certificate for entire Learn Code Online? Yeah, that's actually doable, but not for us. Let me give you reason for that. A lot of things at Learn Code Online is controlled by our team, but it's divided into so many of the things. For example, our blog is managed by Hashnode and they internally use Warcell. And some of our subdomains use also Warcell. Some of the, our subdomains use Netlify as well. So it's not possible for us to actually propagate the same wildcard certificate for all these organizations. Their working is different. Their style of writing code and updation production machines are a little bit different. So passing this certificate is not even an option. Similar to that, the courses and all of them, they use certificates from AWS machines. So that is also another story. So whole story short, if you are facing an error, something like too many new orders recently on the Let's Encrypt, that's because, yeah, you are not aware of it and you are actually renewing a whole lot of certificates continuously, which is not a good thing. Let's Encrypt is already really awesome and is providing so much of the things for free. So although we are not misusing any of that, but we should actually keep a check on that. So what we have decided is we are going to be cutting down on our subdomains. We'll try to give a new fresh look. We are already working on to the fresh look of the Learn Code Online. The work is already in the progress and we'll be cutting down these subdomains. We need to buy a few more domains as well so that our internal work can actually go there and some of the things like uh, invoices build resume they can actually move somewhere else which makes much more sense or a new domain 
So we'll be giving a try on that very soon. So yeah, I hope in this video you have learned that it's not actually a 300 hard limit. You should try to keep your subdomains under 15. And again, make sure you also keep a check that where you are hosting them, Varsal, Netlify, whatever, everybody is using Let's Encrypt. So you might collapse on that. So keep a check on that. Ideal good situation is keep your subdomains in 10 to 15, that's it. Okay, so there's that, the part one of the video. Let's move on to the part two of the video. So in the part two, I wanted to share some of the updates with you. The first update being, yes, I'm trying to put more effort on YouTube videos. I want to push more videos as well as some shorts for Instagram as well. These shorts are gonna be something which gives you a small knowledge about some new tools, uh, some of the new documentation we have studied, something like this, a very short thing which we have uh, recently faced in the production or something like this. This is going to be very meaningful for you, very, very impressive for you and a quick short video to improve your knowledge. So I'll be focusing on that as well. Apart from this, I have now realized that people want to know more about what's happening at Learn Code Online. So I'll be, tr I'll try to be a little bit more transparent on all the things that are going on. The thing is, I've always uh, kind of believed that a whole lot of things goes out to learn code online and a whole lot of things doesn't go in production out there. A lot of them doesn't even say the daylight. They just are in the private repository and they just die down there. A whole lot of work goes on and some of them goes out, a whole lot of them dies down. So giving and building your expectation that, hey, we are building this, we spend one month or two months on that and then we are not able to deliver that. That also is not really nice. Uh, but I'll try to just not to share that kind of information, but still give you more of the in-depth that what issues we are facing, what problem we have faced in the production, how we are dealing with the things. I'll be, I'll be, I'll try to be open more about that. A whole lot of new crash course are planned. A whole lot of new videos are planned. A whole lot of new shorts are even planned and I'll be delivering all of them. Now I'm open for sponsorships as well. In fact, we are already talking with so many of the clients. Actually, a whole lot of people reached out and I was not uh, having enough time to deal with them. But recently I got a new manager, so he is handling all the sponsorship talks and everything for me. So yes, we are open for all the sponsorships and all of them. These sponsorships are going to help me to produce more crash courses and more free content for the YouTube. That's really what I want to do. Put more courses absolutely for free. And I think these sponsors can help me to do that and to achieve that, to put more quality content absolutely for free and put more time and effort into creating these videos. So yes, you'll be say, you'll be hearing me saying that this video is sponsored by XYZ, this video is sponsored by that. So that's going to come in a lot. Uh, but yes, it's it doesn't mean I'm going to lose my moral ethics. I'm not gonna be collaborating with the companies in which I don't believe. It's not like I'm going to be promoting any gambling or something, that integrity is still going to be there. Money is not the important part if I don't believe in the company. And yeah, a whole lot of ed tech companies are even reaching me out. So yeah, we'll be promoting them as well. A whole lot of companies, even some came out to actually buy out the entire company, good deals and all that. We are not ready for that. Let's see what happens in the future. I think this year is gonna be exciting, giving an another start of the year with this video. I know a lot of senseless talk, personal thoughts that I'm sharing with you, but again, I wanted to share that. So in case you didn't like that, that's okay. But you cannot hit the unlike button these days. So there's that. Anyways, I hope uh, I didn't bore you enough. I'll be putting up more short and precise videos from now onwards. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm a glow trotter. You and I, pick your nah, Hajima, who did no mudala, we just different at your water. Georgia, nah, Jibina, Sachanaga, Shinda, no bala, oh, I'm a globe trotter. You and I, pick your nah, Hajima, who did no